the Brass Stacker SKS Anchor Point Scope Mount. Thumbs up. SKS is an exceptional rifle that has, was massively imported in the 90s. Uh, millions of these came into the country starting really low in price, but over the years as the supplies have dried up, these rifles have risen in value to from the three, four, five hundred dollar range. This is a Russian model and it's an excellent shooting rifle. It's very accurate, very reliable, and I've had this for a number of years but one of the big inherent problems is mounting a scope to it. The SKS is a great rifle, but one of the problems is being able to mount a scope to the rifle. Usually it's on this rear receiver and it's not really that stable. And so there are a lot of mounts that people build from here. But one of the things I've really wanted is a scout mount for the SKS. My good friends at BrassStacker.com have gotten together and developed a SKS Scout scope mount. I really like Brass Stacker's products. They're very well made and of course they're made right in the USA. And what it does, it replaces the recoil bolt, fits in there so it gives it a really stable platform and then anchors into the receiver itself. And I'm going to show you how all that works. We're going to put a long eye relief scope on here of course and that's what you need for the Scout system. Jeff Cooper was a huge proponent of the Scout rifle and there are a lot of people that really like, especially for hunting. And with the SKS, you're only getting about 200 meters anyway. And so having a decent low-powered scout scope can really make it quick to get on target and very handy. And so we're going to put this, I'm going to install it, and we're going to take a look at it. Now one good thing about the way they send it is it's already mounted as far as all the screws and everything's already in place. And that helps you when you're mounting it to your rifle. So you don't get confused because there are a lot of parts to the mount itself and it needs to be to really make this a successful system. Now it does come with full instructions but there is a video, an installation video on the Brass Stacker website which is a YouTube video and it's very detailed in how to attach this mounting system. Brass Stacker also offers these little NC Star uh, long eye relief scopes and they come with the rings and these are fairly inexpensive scopes but we've done a lot of testing with these scopes and they really hold up not only on the SKS but also on the Mosin Nagant. In fact we were shooting about 275 yards with a very low power scope and hitting an 8 inch target with ease. Now we're also going to install the brass deflector and that'll keep your scope from getting damaged from shells being ejected. Uh, one of the things that I really love ab about Brass Stacker is they furnish all the tools you need for installation that will be a little uncommon. And this will be the tool you use to remove the existing uh, recoil bar. And really the only thing you're going to need is a wrench to be able to turn this little tool. First thing you want to do when working with any firearm is to make sure it's unloaded. We're going to pull the bolt back. It is unloaded. You're going to have to partially disassemble the rifle because we're going to remove this recoil bolt right here. But the main thing is we want to get the action out of the stock. Taking out the trigger group, you got to have your safety on. Just pull it out. Go ahead and pull out your box magazine. If you have the bayonet attached, go ahead and bring it out. Then just remove the receiver from the stock. Now here you can see the bolt coming through the stock. We're just going to remove that. You take your spanner wrench. It has a couple of small teeth to correspond with the holes. Once you get it started, it's almost easier just to turn it. A lot of these have been in place for a while. Just get them pushed out. All done. Go ahead and remove your bar from the mount, but what I do is keep everything in place and together so I know what goes next. 
Then take the bolt supplied and put it into the hole in the stock. You may have to tap just a little bit to get it lined up and even. You can take your small shims and put them into place. Then you take the spanner nut and it has the two holes. Do it to the other side as well. Next we're going to install the action back into the stock. As you can see the cross bolt is fitting right there next to the receiver. And then next we're going to go ahead and reassemble the rifle. Now we're going to tighten down the spanner nuts on each side. Now just to help things out, we put this in the CTK Precision Ultimate Gun Vise. This just kind of helps things to stay into place. And we'll go ahead and put our mount over the cross bolt. Get it in place on both sides. Then we're going to take the lag set screw, put it into place. And do that on both sides. The lag set screw is going to come out here and this is going to allow you to go ahead and screw on the other uh, locking system. Then you take your locking washer first and put the standard washer, locking washer, then you put your bolt on. Do this to the other side as well. Now take this small little Allen wrench and place it into this small little locking screw. This is going to level out the sight. And it's going to lock down right here. So you just want to tighten it down. Making sure that your mount is level and you can look from the front. Just check it out. Go ahead and start tightening this down. And this is going to add more stability to the mount. We're going to take our rockers and you can see there are some uh, little places here to fit into these slots. We're going to have to get it behind it, fit it into the slot, and then take your set screw and go ahead and start putting it in. Just start turning it. Now we're going to take these larger rockers and you can see there's a hole here and that set screw is going to set against your sight. So it's going to protect it. And here we have a better look at how the rocker fits with the screw coming through. And we're also going to install these on the other side. Here we have the other side into place right here. Uh, I'm going to tell you it's a little bit tricky just getting that lined up and it takes three hands. So once you get it into place though it just screws right in. Then we do the same. We put a locking washer on, flat washer, locking washer, and then tighten down your bolt. Just get it finger tight for now. And then do the other side. You want to start and alternately tighten each of these two lower screws in the cross bolt. Once you get that into place, you're going to want to go ahead and then adjust your set screws here. This will get them lined up and set your adjustment. You can make adjustments with that. Then you can go ahead and tighten up these screws here. But 
Okay, the sight is mounted into place. Now we're going to add the brass deflector and we're going to need to remove the Picatinny rail. The holes line up into place so it's really easy to mount. The screws that were in the Picatinny rail you can see are a lot shorter than the provided ones for the brass deflector. and we've got it installed. Next we're going to go ahead and just add our scope. Now the one thing that a scope mount needs to do is to remain rock solid and that's one of the things about this anchor point is you're going through the recoil bolt and so it's really giving you a stable platform so, and really you end up having six points of contact with the rifle. Your recoil lug right here this fits right under your sight and then you have two points here to keep it stable from front to back. Everything is fully adjustable and so, you know, once you get it, you can tweak it to set it up for what you're doing. It didn't take me but just a couple of minutes to get my, my scope sighted in to be able to get this right on target. Another good feature about this scope mount is that it is see-through. So you're going to be able to see your sights through the bottom. So if something happens to your scope, you still have your sights able to use as a backup. Now the SKS Anchor Point see-through mount runs $94 on the Brass Stacker website. The NC Star 2.75 by 22 long eye relief scope, which is a 30 millimeter, it takes 30 millimeter rings that comes with the scope itself, that runs $79. The brass deflector here is also sold separately. It's $14 and it really helps protect your scope. And this buttstock cheek piece is really nice, uh, made by Rick Lowe who works with Brass Stacker. And this actually has a little pouch. And of course you can put your cartridges on here and put extra ammo or a little parts kit inside. But the real important feature is this cheek riser. It gets your cheek up above where you're able to see your scope and get the right correct eye relief. Now this was actually made for a Mosin the Gant and he, they make them also for the Mauser. I adapted this one to go on the SKS and so and you can do it easily enough. They do make different ones and you can get in touch with Brass Stacker about this. They run $95 and they really make the rifle look classic. Now check out BrassStacker.com. They do a lot of accessories for the Mosin Gant, the SKS, Mauser rifles, and they also do a lot with the Glocks. They have a lot of recoil spring systems and everything, and which I've done previous reviews on those. BrassStacker.com, great source, great products, and I highly recommend them. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.